Pregnancy and lactation are two of the most biologically intense periods in a woman's life, marked by enormous shifts in metabolism, hormone production, blood volume, and nutrient demands. The body isn't just running its usual systems, it's also building an entirely new human being from scratch, then nourishing that tiny, rapidly developing brain and body through breast milk. And behind the scenes, one of the unsung nutritional heroes making this all possible is niacin, also known as vitamin B3. During pregnancy, niacin becomes essential for both the mother and the developing fetus. Requirements increase modestly from 14 mg per day in adult women to around 18 mg per day during pregnancy, not because the vitamin is suddenly doing something new, but because it's now doing everything for two. At the cellular level, niacin is responsible for synthesizing NAD and NADP, the coenzymes that are central to energy production, DNA repair, and the proper functioning of virtually every cell in the body. This isn't optional work, it's the foundation of metabolic life. For the developing fetus, especially in the first trimester when organs and the nervous system begin to form, niacin is critically important. The brain is growing at a pace that rivals any other time in life, and this process requires constant cell division, gene regulation, and energy. Niacin-powered NAD supports all of these functions. It helps build neuronal pathways, supports the synthesis of key neurotransmitters, and fuels the formation of the structural fats and membranes needed for a healthy brain and spinal cord. Inadequate niacin levels during this phase can interfere with neurodevelopment, potentially increasing the risk of birth defects or long-term cognitive delays. Meanwhile, the mother's body is working overtime to support this process while maintaining her own equilibrium. Niacin plays a key role in adapting maternal metabolism to meet the shifting demands of pregnancy. Blood volume increases, hormone levels surge, and the body begins storing fat and nutrients in preparation for lactation, all of which require energy and enzyme activity that rely on NAD and NADP. Niacin also helps manage oxidative stress and inflammation, which naturally rise during pregnancy, but must be carefully balanced to avoid complications. Emerging research has also suggested that disruptions in NAD metabolism during pregnancy may be linked to adverse outcomes such as fetal growth restriction, preeclampsia, or miscarriage. While more studies are needed, these associations reinforce the idea that vitamin B3 isn't just an accessory to a healthy pregnancy, it's a central player in the orchestration of both fetal development and maternal adaptation. Once the baby is born, niacin's importance continues, particularly during breastfeeding. Lactation increases niacin requirements to around 17 mg per day, as the vitamin is actively secreted into breast milk to support the newborn's continued brain and metabolic development. Infants are born with limited niacin stores, so they rely heavily on breast milk for a steady supply. This is especially important in the early months when their own ability to synthesize niacin from tryptophan is immature. A mother's low niacin status could compromise the quality of her milk, putting the infant at risk for subtle developmental issues that may not be immediately obvious, but can affect cognitive growth over time. In addition to supporting the infant, niacin continues to help the mother recover from childbirth by supporting tissue repair, stabilizing mood, and rebalancing energy levels. Postpartum fatigue, brain fog, and emotional swings can have many causes, but micronutrient status is a major factor and niacin's involvement in neurotransmitter regulation and mitochondrial energy production makes it a key part of postnatal recovery. Dietary sources of niacin during pregnancy and lactation become especially important. Lean meats, poultry, fish, legumes, whole grains, and peanuts all provide rich sources of B3, while tryptophan-containing foods like dairy, eggs, and turkey offer an additional route for endogenous synthesis. For most women with a balanced diet, getting enough niacin isn't difficult. However, women with poor appetite, food aversions, nausea, or dietary restrictions, especially in early pregnancy, may fall short, particularly if their overall B vitamin intake is compromised. Folate and B6, for example, are needed to convert tryptophan into niacin, so deficiencies in those areas can affect niacin status indirectly. In populations where malnutrition, food insecurity, or digestive disorders are common, niacin deficiency remains a risk during pregnancy and breastfeeding. Alcohol use, which impairs niacin absorption and metabolism, can further raise the danger. In these cases, prenatal vitamins with appropriate B3 content are essential, but even in well-nourished women, 
Paying attention to dietary patterns is a wise investment in long-term health for both mother and baby. Ultimately, niacin is a quiet force behind one of life's most dramatic transformations. It doesn't come with the hype of folic acid or the sparkle of omega-3s, but its role is just as vital. From cellular energy and genetic stability to emotional regulation and breast milk quality, niacin powers the maternal-fetal connection with precision and purpose. It's the molecular midwife in every pregnancy, often unnoticed, but absolutely essential.